Hey, Derek here at Castaway Studios. Good to be back and good to announce that I've worked out how to use a standard set of gaming uh, headphone mic setups, headset, for through the mixer for normal recording and, and whatever you want to use it for and for game gaming through the mixer. Totally stoked. We'll get to how in a minute. Okay, so you'd know from my previous videos that I've been trying to experiment with headsets and failing with aviation headsets and things like that due to different quality and uh, bass and all that sort of thing and connections. I have been desperately trying to get my son's Christmas present, which is this Audio Technica. I will write which one it is in the thing. It's, it's around the $150 type of one. Uh, he got it for Christmas, and I it comes with a TRRS connector on the end of it, and a choice uh, to add another extension which has a splitter on it, and and you and I'm going to be a bit, I'm going to be a bit, oh, find the end of it, right? So it comes with a TRS cable and another splitter, which is a female TRRS, and split it into two sides which is a microphone and a headphone so I got the headphones to work and he's been using that and having a great time but we haven't got the microphone to work now when I plug that into my MacBook or PC the TRRS yes it does work as a microphone I can record into my door software or use it for Skype or FaceTime or anything it even works in the phone to have a phone chat but I could not get it to work in the mixer and I was like why I'm missing something here Surely I'm smarter than this. Put a uh, converter on it to a quarter inch. Couldn't get it to recognize. Try line level, all this different stuff. Nothing. Uh, couldn't get couldn't get anything out of it. Uh, and I was like, oh, God, what a bad dad. And, I th and that, that's when I started thinking, I like the idea of having something like this for doing technical reviews and stuff rather than, rather than having my... A microphone uh, here so when you're doing something you get off microphone oops and potentially also banging into it and it getting in the way because I do a record review show as well so it's nice to be able to reach forward put the record on grab the cover and your voice stays the same so give us a sec I'm just going to change into my other headset uh, into something more comfortable not really these are way comfortable velvety and stuff I'm going to change headsets so I can pull this all apart and show you what I did and how I did it. All right, let's go. I may have been joking, but it definitely was. It definitely was more more comfortable in my son's gaming headset, which was around a hundred dollars cheaper than what I've got on now. So this. Uh, I showed you the other day. This is an Audio Technica. I've got, I've been mucking around with equalization, so don't be too put off by the difference in sounds. Only the quality will know when I do some recording testing and stuff like that. Um, but let me show you exactly how this worked. All right, the one I've got on in the meantime comes with XLR. For the microphone so it goes straight into the mixing desk that's sort of broadcast e pro you can plug it go on the road and plug it into a as long as it's got phantom power oh no this one doesn't need phantom power sorry about that but we will need it in a minute for something else so it's got xlr and a quarter inch so it's sort of pro went straight in the mixer and worked well right and it got to, got me thinking this process of problem solving started with that the xlr works what's going on here Phantom Power isn't doing anything, whether it's on or off, with this gaming headset. Um, so this is what the, how they come. TRRS. Okay, they call it a, a PlayStation 1 or a PC 1 or you know Mac or whatever. So this works. You put that into a Macintosh or a PC that has the all-in-one input, um, not an old, old PC, and, and, it will, and it will work. It does. Right? But I comes with this other cable so it's a female TRRS put that in there and it's a splitter so at either end of it 
it looks like this, right? So that's a picture of headphones and a picture of a microphone. So kind of foolproof. Put the headphones in, I've just plugged them into a quarter inch adapter and put them into my desk. So that's working fine, um, no problem there. But the microphone, where to put that? Anyway, my research led me to pretty much the, the answer was these are condenser microphones probably put off a bit by the fact that this one doesn't need phantom power but this one does and apparently i didn't realize that your macbook your computer was all throwing four and a half three i don't know three to five volts let's say of power out for condenser microphones and desktop microphones and little you know little uh, computer microphones and things like that didn't realize right so it's doing that so how do you get that voltage when you're using your desk well here's how i did it i remembered what i had already i had i've got a pair of these lavalier microphones and i think they're called a rode smart lav pro i feel no shame in getting rode naming wrong because their naming is crazy but let's call this a smart lav pro the smart lav goes into a smartphone just the same as the end of the cable it's a trrs i'm thinking all right that's interesting and what was interesting was when i went to buy these i was given this uh talk from the guy in the shop saying oh well to get it to work in the zoom h4 which is what i wanted it for for portable interviewing you need to buy this adapter right which takes the trrs which is made to go into a mobile phone and get power and everything else that's needed to operate as a microphone you put that into this adapter that does some magical rewiring inside of it and comes out as a trs right with two rings so a TRS, and then that will function in this, while I wrestle it out of the mixer calmly, which is called a Rode VXLR Plus. All right? So that does more magical hoodoo. It, ch it takes the XLR connection. It, it accepts 24 or 48 volt phantom power, either one doesn't really matter and it spits it out as a trs that puts the information i guess puts the information down the right channels and puts the power down the right channels to be then converted 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 and work in this smart lav pro so i'm thinking that sounds like the money because this is also TRS. It is also a condenser microphone. Doesn't look that much different to a SmartLav Pro. So I plug it in there while doing a face FaceTime with my tech friend uh, Josh Jansen from the Daily Talk Show and big media company. And I plugged it in, and Bob's your uncle. It worked. So there's the answer. That's the hack. Just get this road. Whatever I said before. Uh, this converter if you find a converter that looks like what I just showed you and it's XLR and has a little mini jack hole at the top and it's nine or ten dollars you've got the wrong one I do realize I'm clipping a bit because I've got to get this I've got to sort all these microphones out and get them all right um, and you've got to get that one that particular one that rewires and actually transitions the power from 48 or 24 volts down to about three to five whatever it is four and a half volts or whatever's needed by these little guys so if it goes into a if it if these things work in a computer and they're condensers then you need to use this thing and then there you go drop it into your xlr in one of the channels in your mixer in this case the zoom l8 put phantom power on and you're away my son doesn't know yet but I'm going to be a hero when I get home. Thank you.